Hello, welcome to CTM Member Highlights. I'm Leslie McVeigh, and today my guest is Will Etheridge from the Portland Downtown District. Hi. Hi, thanks for having me on. Well, I'm excited because we're going to talk about music today mm -hmm. and the Alive at Five series. Um, let's talk a little bit about why this August 7th concert that's coming up is, is special. Sure. Well, this summer we partnered with the State Theater right here in Portland, Maine. They're the premier concert venue, I'd say, in all the state of Maine. And uh, they're bringing the Spirit Family Reunion, which is a nationally touring act um, from New York, to play for Live at Five. So we're really excited to, to have this band perform. Well, and they're really roots music and really exciting. They used to play in the subways in New York. Yeah, they're... Uh, they really have sort of that classic folk sound. They they still gather all around a single microphone. Um, you know, a lot of harmonies, a lot of you know banjo, and yeah. uh, it should be a really great experience. Well, it should get uh, Monument Square really hopping and dancing and all ages. Yeah, this is a really great event. You know, it starts um, at 5 p.m. So you're out of work, uh, you've, or you've picked up your kids, bring them down to the square. Um, it's of course a free event. Uh, we also will have the State Theater sponsored beer garden set up there. So if you want to get a cold drink, you can do that. And of course, all the Monument Square businesses. So it's a great opportunity yeah. to come down, enjoy some music, enjoy the, the great summer weather. And remember to bring your ID if you want a beer. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we do have our security personnel right, check in. Right, so. No matter what your age. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, the, 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 they will not be the only band playing that night. They'll be opening, the opening act will be the Ghost of Paul Revere. Yeah, so it's been really important for us to um, showcase our local music right. talent that we have here since we have such a great local music scene. I think that's one of the nice things about the Alive at Five series. Um, we're bringing people not only from out of Portland, but also showing, you know, we have great music going on right here. Um, they also, Ghost of Paul Revere played at the Old Port Festival as well. Right. So, Well, and show. they've got a huge following. Yeah, I think uh, for their CD release, I think they just about sold out Port City Music Hall. Yeah, so, um, and people are traveling distances to hear them. Yeah, I mean, it's great that, you know, we have a band literally right down the street that has such a great audience. Right. And, it's, and know, coupling them with with the other band, yep. it's just going to be a mob scene that night. <laughs> we I hope the hope weather's so. good. I hope you have an in with the weatherman or whoever's in charge. Uh, I've been pretty lucky so far. You know, we had such great weather when we did the Old Port Festival weekend that yeah. hopefully I haven't you know, used yeah. up all my luck at this point. Yeah, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Now, this collaboration with the State Theater is new this year? Yes, the uh, the first time we've done it before um, Alive at Fire was essentially just a PDD one event, but you know we figured we have this you know great resource here, this great talent that really knows how to um, bring great bands up here. So we said you know why not make this into a partnership? They're really excited to do it. So um, you know we're hoping see great success this year and something that we can build and even add more shows next summer is what we really, really like to see so and your the series with the with in, that you collaborate with the state mm -hmm. is called something different from alive well alive at five is still with the state theater oh. um but we've also started a, an arts alive series which is just PDD sponsored, mm -hmm. um, and this is it. Also takes place on Thursdays in Monument Square. So um, on this Thursday, July twenty fourth, uh, we have a uh, Rosa Noreen and Doc Barbie. And Rosa is a local belly dance uh, performer and instructor. Oh. So she'll be not only belly dancing, but maybe even. Instructing a few people if you want to get right. in on the action. I know Rosa, and she's fabulous. Yeah, she's great. Um, yeah. And she'll be performing with Akbari, which is a Middle Eastern uh, right. music group. And then on July 31st, we have um, the Portland Symphony Orchestra is bringing their um, tune-up main quartet. Um, so just a, a four-piece quartet. Um, and they'll be performing again for free right in Monument Square. Um, it's the Portland Symphony Orchestra's 90th anniversary this year, so, so they're doing yeah. different sort of little mini concerts all over. And to introduce a, an audience that might not necessarily go to the symphony, I think it's great, and I think the, the variety you're offering the city is terrific. Mm -hmm. Now, if people want to find out more, they can contact you. 
Yeah, the um, port, www.portlandmaine.com is the source of information mm -hmm. for all these events and for everything we do at PDD. And if there's a cancellation due to rain or something, that would be posted on that yep, site? Yeah, and I encourage people to check out our Facebook page since we do a lot of information there as well. So they can friend you on Facebook. Yep. And, and in the case of uh, the Alive at Five event, um, if there is a rain, it will be moved to Port City Music Hall. So, so it will still is go on. Terrific. Um, Good to know. And, and it'll still be free. And it'll still be free. All so right. you can still get a drink. So. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to it, and I hope our viewing audience will all be there with their dancing shoes on. Absolutely. Thank you, Will. Thank you. All right.